DJ Dells. You know I love you. Funko Pop Addicts, what's good? It's your boy Dells. We on the hunt for that Michael Jordan Funko Pop. It's early, early, like almost nine o'clock. Let's go check it out. All right, there you are, Foot Locker. Let's hope they got it. Let's hope they got this Funko Pop. We got him. Oh. All right, so I got my pop right there. And let's get into a detailed review when we get to the Casa. Funko Pop Addicts, you see what we have right here. We have the Michael Jordan Bronze Foot Locker exclusive side by side with the first release, the Common. Definitely a tough pickup today for many. Let me know in the comments right now if you were able to pick it up. I will link it in the description box below. And the reason why I'm doing that is because you never know. They may restock it. So check it out. I'll link a bunch of other Funko in the description box also. You still should be able to get this common Michael Jordan. But the bronze, it's going to be a tough one. There's a look at the back of the box. I like how they have... Michael Jordan with the bronze on the back with the artwork. I think that's awesome. Make sure right now to bang that thumbs up button because we're about to take these bad boys out the box. And there we go. Bong out of the box. Looks absolutely awesome. I feel like they both are a must have. The bronze one is supposed to be, I'm pretty sure, an inspiration to the statue that they have. So I think that's the whole inspiration to it. And I did do a video comparing all of the other Michael Jordan Funko Pops. Definitely check out that video. I may actually connect that to this vid for everyone that wants to see all of the other Michael Jordan Funko Pops. They really did a great job on it. The paint is okay. I mean, there's a little bit of like streaks on the face, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it. I'm sure you can. But I definitely expected it to be worse from what I've seen in the past with a lot of the Michael Jordan Funko Pops. The paint has been that great on his face. And the jersey looks amazing. The sneakers too, in that bronze, I mean, looks absolutely amazing. There is a side profile to his other side. And once again, I love how the sneakers look with the bronze, looks so nice. And one more close up look. Let me know if you picked this one up. Did you pass? Were you trying to get it, but you struck out? Leave it in the comment box below and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for tuning in. Much love out there. And if you haven't, please leave a comment. If you got nothing to say, write I love Funko. Let me know which one you like better, the bronze or the common. We got two of the three Michael Jordans that have so far released. This is the third one right here. We have the Fanatics exclusive of Michael Jordan wearing his Concord Jordan 11's classic pair of shoes. I will show you an out of the box review in just a second. Plus compare it to the actual shoes that he's wearing. And I did that for both of these vids. So definitely check out all of the videos. Bang that thumbs up button for that out of the box look and let's get into it. All right. So here we go with a detailed look at the Michael Jordan Fanatics exclusive. As you can see, he's wearing Air Jordan Concord 11s, which you actually have behind this Funko Pop right here. An amazing pair of shoes. Just showing you the sneaker real quick. You have your patent leather in black wrapping around. You have a mesh upper. You have your jump man right there you have your number 45 now the reason why i had a 45 instead of the 23 is because michael jordan changed his number when he came back to the nba after he retired he tried out baseball didn't really work so well for him he came back and he wore the number 45 jersey and kicked some serious ass getting more rings, more championships. I really feel like Funko dropped the ball by not having this jersey have a 45. And I will give you a closer look in just a second. I just want to kick some history when it comes to Michael Jordan too. And um, we'll do a quick comparison with the other Funko Pops because why wouldn't we since I have them? We have the Michael Jordan where he's just flying in the sky ready to dunk that ball. Kind of reminds me of when he did that amazing dunk from the foul line. And he was actually wearing these shoes. So I'm taking it that's what this is from. 
So I'm taking it, that's where this is from. I love how they set him up on that stand and he looks like he's just about to dunk that dang thing. Then we got the Michael Jordan rookie season and he's wearing the jersey from when he was a rookie. He's wearing Air Jordan 1s. Not really nailing it with the sneakers on all of them. I would say the ones that look the most like the actual Jordans I'll give it to this one right here, the Fanatics exclusive. Then I'll give it to the Jordan 3, the general release common. And then I'll give it to the actual rookie one, the Target exclusive next. Just because this colorway is like not even close to a Jordan 1 OG colorway. Like the original colorways. That's what I mean by OG. So, um... You know, I wish that they were able to really sculpt it where it looked exactly like the shoe, but they're not making that happen. And I'm sure maybe that cost Funko more money to make something like that actually happen. Because then they would have to deal with Nike Direct. Um, I'm sure they're not dealing with Nike Direct. They're probably just dealing with Michael Jordan Direct when it comes to these releases. But once again, I have detailed reviews on both of these Funko Pops. And I compare them to the actual shoes that they're wearing on the Funko Pop. So definitely check out those reviews because it's a lot of fun to watch. Let's focus on this Fanatic exclusive. So right off the bat, once again, just like on the Target exclusive, there's kind of like blemishes on the paint, which I'm not happy about, kind of stinks. And you see a lot of it on the paint of this one right here, as you can see. So that's one thing that does suck. I wish that they could get the paint right. I noticed that on a lot of the African American Funko Pop characters, like there's a lot of blemishes they always do when it comes to the brown paint. I wish they would get that right because there's a lot of them that I own and they're a lot like that and, and that stinks because I mean it shouldn't be that hard for them to do that. I think it's glue. I think that's what's all over his face but it definitely shows. You can see it and that stinks. Uh, you have the basketball right there, which has great details. You, the sneakers are great. I love how it kind of looks like it has that translucent outsole, like the actual shoe. So I think that's super cool. And then you have your Chicago Bulls jersey. And once again, if it had the 45, they would have nailed it. There's a look at his side. Love the actual Bulls logo on his shorts. There's a look at his back. The jersey looks great. I don't think it was necessary to hit it with that touch of black up top on the sneaker. I wish they didn't do that. And there's a look at his other side. And you can see like all over his head it's just a mess. Which sucks. And one more close up look. Let me know how it went for you all that picked it up too. Did it come shipped properly or was it just like loose in like a oversized box? Because mine was. I wasn't happy about that. My box wasn't mint condition. They charged $35 total for me to get this to my house. I mean $35, man. That's expensive. They should pack it like really good if they're going to charge that much for a Funko Pop. Hope you all had fun watching this video. Let me know which one is your favorite. The general release, the Fanatics exclusive, or the Target exclusive. Me personally, the best one is <laughs> definitely the general release. You got Michael Jordan about to dunk the ball. There's no way that I'm picking any of these over this one right here. And I'm so happy that they made this the common instead of making, you know, one of these the common when this is clearly, in my eyes, the best one. But that doesn't mean that you have to agree with me. So please leave in the comment box which one you like better. The common, the Fanatics exclusive, or the Target exclusive. Leave it in the comment box below. I don't know which one is the most sought after out of these two right there, the exclusives. Let me know in the comments if you know. Me personally, I mean, it's cool to get a limited Funko Pop, but at the end of the day, I don't care if it's a general release, if it's not worth money, I'm buying the damn Funko Pop. That's just how it goes down with me. And um, if you love Funko, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're new here because we do so many reviews on all types of Funko Pop. And I just love this because 
it just brings me back to when I was a kid. Plus stuff that's going on now. Like, of course, we have like all the Endgame Funko, which I'm just so hyped to see this movie. Like, I just... I'm counting the days, you know, I'm so hyped to see the movie and um, it's just so much fun buying all these things and bringing me back to when I was a kid and also, as I was saying, picking up stuff that's relevant today. So that's why I love Funko. Uh, let me know why you love Funko and thank you so much for watching today's video. Yesterday I did review this really sought after Funko Pop, the Night King Metallic AT&T exclusive, and I did a super duper detailed review, and I also give tips on how to actually buy the thing. So definitely watch yesterday's video, the day before last, I did a review on the Boba Fett. I still have so many more Funko Pops to review, like from Incredibles 2. This is a sick one right here. I, I have had this for about a week and a half, and I still have not reviewed it yet. There's just so much that I have not done reviews with yet. Um, you know, stuff that I've had for a while that I still haven't done reviews on. Like even this Lord of the Rings Funko Pop, which is a uh, common, but the details on this is incredible. This is like such an awesome Funko Pop. Look at that, man. I mean, you know, as I said, like I'm gonna buy what I like. I don't care if it's limited or not. It's fun to get the limited ones, but at the end of the day, man, I buy what I like. And um, that's it for today's video. I'm just rambling and rambling. If you're into the kind of stuff I'm into, definitely check out my podcast over at patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. We do an hour podcast basically every week with Q and A giveaways, and it's so much fun. We're at 57 episodes. They don't get old because it's all Q and A and anything goes we talk about so much and it's unfiltered uncensored just super raw uncut so if that sounds like something you would be into definitely check out my patreon over at patreon.com backslash dj dells i will try to link this michael jordan common in the description box below for your convenience i'm pretty sure you still may be able to get it along with a ton of other funko pops i like to list it on all of my videos just to try to lead you in the right directions if you're looking to pre-order slash order any new Funko. And that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all had fun watching it. Much love out there. And we're getting close to the weekend. I hope everyone's ready for the weekend. I know I am. Thanks for tuning in once again. <laughs> Much love out there. We out.